Hofner, um, I wondered to what extent um, the modelling of other impacts uh, arising from lockdown, negative impacts on mental health, uh, other medical problems, mass unemployment, has influenced the guidance offered by the Joint Biosecurity Centre so far? Our role is specifically to provide public health guidance. Um, so that is what we will be doing. But obviously the ministerial decisions that are made are based on a range of inputs, which include inputs from other bodies like the Biosecurity Centre, um, operating under the auspices, for example, um, of, of Treasury, who are looking at modelling some of the, um, the economic impacts. And, and as Professor Ian Diamond said, Previously, ONS has done some fantastic work on non-COVID health impacts of COVID. All of those things are being brought together to inform decisions. Thank you. And what does the um, JBS uh, believe in terms of the concept of circuit breakers and the regional approach and the balance between the two and how long any circuit breaker would need to be to be effective? We don't have a responsibility for um, devising or determining the policy, so that's very much a question for ministers. What we will be doing um, is providing, as I said, the best possible advice and information we can on the progression of the disease, mm -hmm. uh, both regionally and locally, um, and also seeking to learn, as interventions are put in place, um, learn uh, about their effectiveness and ensure that we are modelling and tracking really closely uh, whether or not the particular interventions that have been put in place are starting to bite and we are starting to see contacts reduce and we are starting to see case rates uh, slowing down in terms of um, increase of transmission and potentially and ideally reducing. Remember here all of the interventions um, are, have one aim and that's to reduce the number of contacts. Um, and so we will be looking quite keenly um, at all information uh, from both across government at the local level but also academia and I noticed that Professor Gandhi wants to wants to come in uh, to um, to see whether the interventions are biting. Thank the you. final Dr. point Dr. I would Dr. just make... Dr. Dr. Gandhi, do you want to come in on that, that point? Yeah, I think, I think just overall I think we're in a situation where everything is, the cases are rising, rising across the board so some intervention will have to happen mm. almost everywhere at some point. And then basically once we manage to basically deal with the current outbreak, we need to move probably towards a more proactive strategy in trying to determine how we basically bridge the time until hopefully, maybe in half a year's time, a vaccine comes along. Mm. So, mm. And then I think that the point I want to make is basically if you want to have, do a local strategy, you can't, you need to, to a certain extent, not completely mechanistically, but roughly predefine the kind of measures that you will be taking at certain levels that will be far more transparent for everyone. And you don't need to negotiate things when you reach the point, then you are far more nimble at doing things. Thank you. But to be able to be in this point, one needs to basically first get the infection rate a little bit down, as Professor Edmonds has said mm -hmm. earlier. Thank you. James? Finally, Chair, um, and Dr. Gardner, in terms of uh, your work with the devolved administrations, um, it's of interest. I mean, in North Wales, where I represent, there's a clear extension of the North West England outbreak. Um, and you'll have seen the unilateral measures taken by Welsh Government recently. And uh, so what, to what degree is the data being studied on a cross-border basis? We have a, um, with Public Health England colleagues, we have a daily meeting uh, every morning um, with colleagues from across the devolved administrations to take stock of the data from the previous day. We also have um, on a weekly basis a, um, the opportunity for a more in-depth conversation to look at trends, um, et cetera, so that we are, in, in an, in the, in, we are able to share insight. Um, and, and that meeting particularly looks at border issues um, because, as you say, there is um, a real importance to understand exactly what's happening either side of a border, but also understanding movement across the border and being in a position where consistent advice can be provided um, uh, to, to both, uh, to all national, uh, national governments. 